Hello YouTube. So today <clears throat> I'm gonna take a look at this front strut. As you guys can see, sagging quite a bit. It'll lift up when I start the car and go on, but I have a hydraulic um, fluid puddle underneath here. And I'm gonna inspect the front strut, see if it's worth replacing or if I'm doing a coilover conversion. Let's get going. This is my 2003 Mercedes-Benz SL500 on the R230 chassis. Follow me as we restore this vehicle to its full glory. I don't know if y'all can see, but went to pull this off and I stripped off to the parts store. So this is the strut here and it looks to be dry. Doesn't look fantastic. It doesn't look like it's the source of the leak. But when I come back here, we can see I've got fluid there. Which makes me think it's a line, so I gotta take some more panels off to get back there and see if we can figure out whether the line's worth saving or replacing, or if we're going coil over. And I'm gonna take the inner fender off. Bolt there. Bolt there. Two bolts back there. And these clips right here. So, <laughs> this project, we had some fun. I was able to tighten up in here, right there, right there. Tighten those two pieces together, clean the whole area up with brake clean. And now, it's just a matter of wait and see. So I've got the car parked. I will uh, check in again tomorrow morning. And I don't intend to use this car till next weekend anyway, so we'll let it sit the entire week and see what happens. The other three wheels never sagged, um, and the car hadn't been started in a week. So if we resolve the issue, I would expect that this wheel does not sag either. One week later. Well, here we are one week later, and it has not dropped at all. It's been exactly one week. I see no fluid in there, no dripping. I'm going to fire up the car, pull it out in the driveway, take off the wheel, put the cover back on, check the fluid and be done. And I took the wheel off, left it in the garage. But 
new problem. Uh, it's quite a bit of coolant. So I'll put button this back up and then shift and take a look over here. All right, getting this thing buttoned back up. I'll show you guys real quick with these. So when you take them out, you pop these on and to put them back in, you just push them all back in. And so I just gotta get under the car, put that back up in place, and that'll be back together. All right, and for those that have gone through the pleasure of using lug bolts on the Mercedes wheels, you know there is a special tool that you can use for putting the wheels back on. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay, because obviously there's no studs. we got to create one. It just makes it easier to put the wheel on. So the Mercedes tool kit includes this. You screw it in there, and now you can take the wheel and slide it on there to line it up. So there it is with the wheel on. You see that sticks out. And now we can take the lug bolts, line them up, remove that, and the wheel's back on. And the last piece of this project is to top up the fluid from what we've leaked. And we'll go through that quickly. And I'm going to save this for another project. wipe this off. We want it on the top part of that. So it's... We're not quite there, so it looks like we need to add some. So this is the fluid here. We'll go ahead and try and add some. Okay, I did top it up, but it was very difficult to film one-handed. So I didn't film it. Well, let's see if we can't uh, pull this out and take a look now. Where we sit. The motor on. Let's see. Pretty much where we want to be. I did, whoops, lift it up and down. What I mean is I put the suspension up and I put the suspension down. Motor on. I believe we're where we need to be. I think we're good. I think we've buttoned up the ABC suspension issue, at least for now. I gotta tackle that coolant issue. We still got plenty of things to do. Tune in next time.